One of the funnest thing about Skies is teaching the second year, when you can build on the materials from their last year. Here I'm just logging in like I normally do with Continue with Google, and I have my last year's class from 2019-2020. Skies makes it easy to archive your courses. Just press the pencil to edit and go down to Access Control. You'll see similar buttons that you use to hide and unhide lessons, and here you can do it for the whole course. When you do it for the whole course, you'll notice it's missing. It's actually in your archive section below. This will get created for you once you're hiding courses. There it is down there, my fifth grade class from 2019-2020. Now what I want to do is get my new class ready to go. All I'm going to do is give it a simple title, and this will be for my 2020-2021 school year. Save it, and let's go back to last year's course. So here's my new course, and I'm going to go back to last year's course. Just click My Class to enter your course. And here's my last year's course. You'll notice that everything is now hidden. So all the lessons and folders and everything's hidden when it gets archived. So if you want to copy over lessons, we make that easy by using the Organize Lessons button. You'll see it there at the bottom next to the Recycle Bin. You can select individual lessons or deselect them by clicking them again if you accidentally select them. And if you just want to copy over all your lessons, we give you a Select All button. Notice that you have the choice to either copy the lessons or to move them. But in this case, we want to copy them. Copy them into our new course. You can paste things within the same course. Sometimes you want to do that if you want to use a template that uh, you have a lot of success with. But in this case, we're going to choose other courses at the top so we can copy all those lessons into this year's course. Once you click it, you're done. You just click Transfer Lesson Only. Pay attention to the words which say you only want to pair rosters if you're transferring student work. And in this case, we don't want to transfer student work. And we're just going to stick everything right there. If we had folders, then we could paste it in the individual folder, but we didn't put anything in our course, so we're just going to choose the Paste button at the top. Once we verify it looks good, we can say we're done. I'm going to exit out of that course now, so now I'm no longer in last year's course. Everything should be in this year's course. So let's see. We'll click on My Class, and as you see, everything's here. If you left stuff hidden or unhidden before you archived it, it'll remember. So you can see my first two, uh, first lesson is unhidden, uh, but all the other ones are hidden because I had had them hidden before when I archived them. And notice there's no student work. All your student work is saved and preserved in your archived material. It's often convenient to copy lessons within a, a course. Uh, for example, say you have a lesson template that you really like to use and everything's set up and you're only changing certain parts. Well, at the bottom of your panel there, you'll see the Organize Lessons button again next to the Lesson Bin. And uh, when you click it, the lesson you're in will be highlighted automatically. And so remember, there's the Copy button as well as the Move button. And in this case, where you're going to be copying. And there's a lot of different pace where you could copy if you want to copy it inside a lesson versus in the folder. I want to put it in the folder because this is my template for my basic lessons. And there's also a paste at the very top if you were putting it outside those folders. So I'm going to press paste next to my ELA folder and notice now I have a copy of it. So I'll hit done and now I can edit that lesson to give it a new title and change the access control if I want students to be able to view it or I could always do that later. One thing to watch out for is that if you're in a folder uh, and you use the Organize Lesson button, uh, Skies will automatically highlight that folder. So you can just click, click it to uh, deselect and then choose the template that uh, you, or whatever lesson you want to copy. Uh, choose Copy, um, paste it in the correct place, check that it looks okay, and then hit Done. And uh, likewise, then you'll be able to go back and edit that lesson, give it a new title, and if it's ready to uh, be viewed, you can also allow students to view it.